Field craft training begins with an observation exercise. The observation is across the board on all of our roles, all of our primary roles. You need to have good observation. Sniper on sniper, you're looking to find another sniper out there who is obviously camouflaged and hidden. We need to be able to observe before they can observe us and we need, need to be able to see them before they see us. Or, for instance, we can ID their vehicles long before they even get near us. Ten objects, parts of weapons and kit that the commandos have memorized are hidden in the terrain before them. To pass, they must find and identify at least seven out of the ten objects. Right, you've got 20 minutes from now to do your panoramics. They carefully sketch the terrain they are scouting. At the end of the allotted time, the trainees are marked and shown the hidden objects. If you look down to the right of arc, we'll go to the first object. If you look down to where Lee is, who didn't plot anything in this area. Lee, can you go in and touch? So you've got a straight object running down to a brass bit at the bottom. 5.56 cleaning rods <coughs> with the chamber brush attached to the end. This was only the third time the trainees had taken this observation test. They will repeat this exercise every day over the coming weeks. The instructors give the commandos time to train the eye and hone their skill. I reckon I got about four points, five points, but I've seen about seven things, so just me putting the wrong thing down. Next, the commando snipers are trained for their reconnaissance role. Operating ahead of an attack, they must get close enough to scout enemy positions. Then they must return to base and make a 3D model of their findings. Once you've shaped it, um, just for instance, you've got obviously high ground, low ground, re-entrance running through, you've got roads and tracks and so on. I won't press on too much on that. Commandos make their models from natural materials. If needs be, they can destroy the model and hide their presence. Um, more sporadic trees, these small twigs here representing tracks, these large twigs here rep representing roads. They're expected to detail and identify enemy defences. Saying that they've got low wire entanglement all around this building. And then go into detail about the low wire entanglement. How wide was it? How high was it? Would it be a problem? Could you see it being a problem for any sort of attacking force onto the building? Then actually go into the building in minute detail as well. They also learn how to build a hide for a two-man sniper team. What we're doing now is we're moving on to two-man belly hides. The concealment side of it is quite difficult, so it takes quite a lot of practice to actually get them um, concealed well. In a real combat situation, the ability to blend into the surroundings can be the difference between life and death. They work through the night to build the perfect, undetectable sniper hide. And in the morning, they're evaluated. Overall, yeah, not a bad effort, I suppose. Well, half of them are very good, yeah, half of them are very poor, yeah, but the points have all been brought out. The Royal Marines sniper training course culminates in one final test, where all the skills they have learned, marksmanship, observation, camouflage and concealment, come together. If they're to join a fighting unit as a sniper, they must learn advanced fieldcraft techniques and prove it by passing the toughest test of all, the stalk. The 12 commandos left on the course are in the early stages of their special training. This is only the third of up to 18 stalks. The fully equipped and camouflaged stalkers are first given a map location of an observation post, known as the OP. The OP represents the enemy position and hence their objective. The OP location is at 045868. The OP 045868. The OP is manned by two observers, both trained snipers. In the ultimate hide and seek game, the trainee snipers must not be seen by the observers at any stage in the stalk. Instructors, called walkers, are in the field with the trainee stalkers. The walkers have got communications with the OP, and during that time, if any time you, you see someone, you walk her onto them, um, and then once you've put his hand onto their head, that, that's then basically failed. They're marked on a point system and can earn a maximum of 100. 
If they're seen after the first or even second shot, they will lose points and could fail the test. If they get closer than 150 meters, the enemy could see them, so points are deducted. If they're further than 500 meters, accuracy diminishes, so they will also lose points. This stalker gets within the prescribed distance of the target. He's now about 400 meters from the OP. To ensure he's not seen, he has to adjust his camouflage. The actual vegetation's changing slightly in colour and it's different from the head and shoulders colour that he's got. So he's clipping a bit of vegetation now, getting it into his head and shoulders. Once he's located the OP um, and he's happy with the position, then he'll start looking around the area for something that'll be as good as a final fire position, an FFP. And where he'll set up and he'll conceal himself completely um, and then that's where he'll look to take the shot from. Unfortunately, his camouflage didn't work and this commando is seen before he can take his shot. Down, 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 breaking down there, just, just behind the ridgeline. I've seen him come up a couple of times. Yeah, Roger, you bang on behind him, mate. You're about a metre behind him, um, but he's the only bug in the air and you bang on line. He failed the test. If this were real, he might have been shot. He'll get another chance to work on this skill tomorrow. Well, I, well, I, was, I was planning, I was looking at that tree. I was going toward that tree there, because I thought uh -huh. it was further over to the right. I thought it would be covered, like... If they do take a shot, they are then ordered to hold. A walker approaches within 10 meters of the shooter and the observer tries to spot the stalker. If seen, the stalker fails. Slightly in front of that bit where you've just been spotted down. Right, can you put your uh, same hand out? Yeah, bring it in towards your body. Then stop. Go down, 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 down. If the sniper's not seen, he gets a second shot. Even then, he can score high, but still fail. The sniper's fired his second shot. So now he's firing a shot under observation within 10 metres. No, I've got nothing there. Uh, Roger, I'm going to move in and touch. Right at this stage now, I'm going to actually show the OP um, and put my hand right onto the sniper's head and see if he can still not locate him. A hand coming down, 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 hand on the sniper's head. Yeah, Roger. <laughs> um, <laughs> this commando was not seen even after the second shot. Most of the trainees in this class are spotted before they reach a firing position. This sniper is the first trainee to pass today. Um, seen after second shot, you'll get 70% for that, yeah? So you've still passed all the stalking part of it. Yeah, obviously you send big 100s if you want to. The trainees will practice this skill and repeat this exercise dozens of times in the final weeks of training. Got one shot off, got seen after first shot. And uh, got my range wrong as well, so you live and learn, don't you? The more you do it, the better you get. It's like any of the, any of the stances, like map reading or obs. When you, like, you, you, your eye comes in better, if you know what I mean. The more you do, basically, the better you get. Overall, they're doing quite well. Everyone's learning from each other's mistakes, and that's the quickest way for them to learn, and each stalk, hopefully, they progress. At the end of the nine weeks, six of the original 14 commandos pass the course. They will be assigned to a fighting unit and join their fellow Royal Marines serving in a host of theatres, from Africa to Afghanistan. The Royal Marines and their snipers have built on their traditions and the lessons of history. They belong to a proud global lineage. The sniper, sharpshooter, hunter and scout has served with distinction for over two centuries in every major army, every major war and in every corner of the world. The sniper's gallant deeds and epic duels have become the stuff of legend. But while the tools, tactics and techniques have all advanced, today's combat sniper still depends on his own skill, courage and dedication.